I'm with Anya here. First of all, before I even say anything else, I'd like to apologize because our standing date is every Tuesday and here I am 24 hours late for this date of ours and I'm really sorry about that. But other than that, hi, how are you doing? I hope you've been having a lovely week because it is Wednesday, so like literally the week is over, you know? Like the week is is done. So um, welcome. If you are new here, we've been receiving a lot of love, and I'm really grateful for that. So karibu sana sana. Feel at home. Like, and if you're coming back, you know how I feel about you, my MVPs. Okay. So um, today's video is going to be a part one of a two-part series for a kitchen renovation that we are doing for an amazing Kenyan food YouTuber who also happens to be my friend. So I'm not gonna reveal who she is just yet uh, because in today's video, we're going to do the larger scale DIYs for her kitchen. So I'm gonna show you um, some of the DIYs. Well, Clover is over here, he's trying to eat like the tripod. So we're gonna do some of the large scale DIYs that we're going to do for her kitchen. That's what we'll be doing today and yeah, so I'm just gonna take you over to, you know, where all this stuff has begun, like where we started. Hola, so, oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if this is, this is not going to be the intro intro, but it is Saturday morning and today we are doing our first ever collab. I'm about to leave and go pick up some supplies. Then I'll have to come back here and pick up my, pick up my what, my, my tools. And then we'll go over to Rachel's house. Rachel has bought a lot of the other stuff. Uh, we've been liasing and also she bought a couple of things. So we'll go make over her kitchen. It might run into the night, but you know what? It's okay. So I'm going to just run into the CBD. So I'm back in the house. Uh, unfortunately, my run in town. Just a sec. It's the cubby. Mm. Hello. Hi. Oh, that grey one. Can you come in? Mambio mekujia muthoni because I have some things I have to take down. Yeah, so just come in and pack close to the to the lift. Okay, so um, I had to walk around Tao um, for quite some time because I wanted to do... I couldn't find one particular item. I couldn't find it in the color I wanted. I wanted it in white, but it was only, everywhere I went, they only had it in black. So I walked around, I didn't find it. So conferred with, with Rachel and she said, it's fine, black will do. Cause for her, she's like, just do your magic as long as it's lo it looks good. I'm like, man, girl, the trust you got in me though. So that took a bit of my time. So it's now like 1.30, so this starting at 2 p.m. Storo suddenly is looking like that, a Storo, because I still have to go get a bit of wood uh, once I get there and we have to go buy paint. So now I'm telling myself if I start by 3, latest 3.30, I should be fine. But like I said, it looks like we're going to work into the night and I'm prepared for that, which reminds me I need to carry a certain brush. We're going to work into the night and I'm okay with that. So my cubby is downstairs. We have to be now with our two thingies all the equipment and whatever nick is like packing over there i'd pack them like he's just helping me take them down so we're gonna take them downstairs and then we are going to rachel's place so i want to do something dramatic wow let's go hola so we are currently at rachel's place she's not around so she's gonna come by later and i want to get started on some of the work that we're doing in here and i want um i was thinking of starting with like the harder stuff which includes painting and stuff like that but we haven't bought the paint yet so i'm gonna leave that for later but i want to start with like this general area the counters uh, because there's several DIYs that I want to do here. So there's the contact marble paper that I want to do with the counters. Then there's covering of the this tiles and and also doing this cabinet.
so i'm just gonna get started and then you'll see the flow of events there's one thing that um i need to figure out i have to come up with a plan with, for this part because this is a tile that is broken and since we're covering the top of all this i need to level the plain field over here that with this becomes a smooth complete surface so i'm thinking of using wood because it's going to be hidden but i haven't decided yet because i don't have any tiles so i can't say i'll break a tile and put it in here i don't have any so let's see how we are going to handle this part as of now i still don't know but let's see how we are going to fix that I'm gonna start by cleaning out the entire space, like removing everything. So, uh, if we're starting, whichever we're starting with, I'll just first clear out everything. It's gonna be easier to just do one section at a time. So, I've cleaned this part and I want to now do the marble contact paper. So, we're going with black. I wanted to do white because we are doing a two toned kitchen with orange and gray but i walked all over no one seems to have white in stock everyone just doesn't and wow i'm so shiny no one cares no one cares more funny so um i want to start with like just this part um i started by cleaning it because i'm not trying to say this place is dirty it's because you don't want to leave any particles any water any liquids under the paper because we are using glue it's like it's contact paper so it's it has glue at the back of it and that's what we're going to stick so we are doing the countertops we're doing marble marble in black and then we are going to do the orange tone contact paper that's going to run it's going to be the um, the backsplash of the kitchen so it's going to run across this way all the way around and then we are going to do gray for all the cabinets all of them up here and down here so we're going to start with this part let me get the oh, forgot to carry that thing for smoothening it's okay ah oh, they gave me one they gave me one oh, uh, i was gonna use a cake thingy i need let me scissors i need i was like oh, i need that i was gonna use that one for cakes so yay to they're called fanaka straws imagine i was i was i was gonna film then i forgot but i'm going to leave all their contact details uh at the bottom so they're also online so i think they probably do deliveries because that's what all online stores do nowadays anyways this is like it's a very pretty and it's glossy it's a marble that's what it looks like it's very very pretty what i'm going to do is after i do this i'm going to move everything clean that side as it's drying i'm going to do something else so scissors okay we still have them so let's get started so i'm just going to first cut the bit that i want without sticking it and then i'll only start sticking it onto the surface once i already have the piece that i want for that space so so instead of doing it this way as much as this would actually what if i just did this way then you just do one complete one that comes over because this is pretty long and it can start from that end to this end i was going to do it the other way but it's marble it's not like a continuous pattern so that's okay so i'm just gonna and oh this looks pretty cute i like it so this will have to be to start here and then the amount of of whatever that's left is on that will fold over and then it will give that illusion of like the granite tops so i'm just gonna i don't want to do it this way because i'm up yes like that and this is waterproof so don't be like oh Nathani, what about what about it is waterproof so I'll just make sure I have enough leaning over this way and enough to come all the way past the wall. So let's just unravel like that and then I'll cut it here. So the idea behind this is to peel and stick. That's it. You just peel it and stick it on the surface.
we've done this part we're gonna do the other counters then we'll see you after we are done with that side so i forgot i forgot my what are those things called again my box cutter my craft knife so i had to go i went and thought okay what's the one thing i can use so it's a razor so i went and bought two razors and i'm hoping that they are going to be of assistance because I need them to work okay so we're gonna use razors this is just to clean up the edges all the parts that I've left hanging on the sides and all that stuff so here's to doing things you know like ordinary random people so I won't I'll just do that let's see So it's cutting but it doesn't have as much control as as a craft knife you don't have enough control because this thing is very very weak so but I'm done with the tops apart from this part with a broken tile and I've cut off this bit I want to start with the backsplash and I want to start over here going all the way around thinking so I'm gonna start but I still want to start over here because I have to return the stuff that's here so I want to start over here then go that way then I'll decide if I want to do these edges after I'm done with this part this is the orange we got I got so yeah alright so we're just going to do it's the same process I had cleaned the wall but I hadn't done I had not done this side it's very important to clean the wall if the wall is not clean over here if the wall is not clean then whatever you put like the the adhesive uh, the glue will not stick to dirty surfaces so what that will do is it will start peeling off because it's not like set nicely okay so oh, I had not cleaned this corner because there was stuff over here when I was cleaning the walls so oh. And then it has to also be dry. If it's wet, damp, it's not gonna work. Okay, the first one's down but the thing is this thing it looked like it had been rained on or something so it has like certain bits it's like it had some water inside it or something so it it was giving me trouble over here but the cool thing with this is you can pull pull it up and push it back down as many times as you want because that's how this material works so it's cool so with this one i'm not going to do everything then come and cut it i'm just going to cut it as i go the indents the indentations that were that are in the tail that's underneath which i think actually looks pretty interesting because then it makes the orange look like it has you can't see <laughs> sorry like it makes the orange this orange paper it makes it look like it has some patterns inside it because as much as it has texture it doesn't really have patterns but then it has this bits that look like they're part of the orange so i'm liking that i'm really liking that okay cool i'm gonna move stuff over so that we can do this end
so I've decided to end it there for now so it's like from end to end but I'm not certain if I'm gonna keep it that way I want to first do the gray um, the lower cabinets and the upper ones and then see if I'll have to do the edges or not so I'm not certain about the edges yet so I want to complete the other part because then it will give me an idea of if we will have to do that so for this one I have to remove the doors because I can't do them while they are up here so I'm gonna just get my screwdriver and do that real quick so I have to unscrew the doors then once I unscrew the doors I have to unscrew the handles from the doors I'm gonna do two doors at a time so I'll start with this ones and then put them back up because I'm just gonna use this space I don't have too much space and I don't want to I don't want to before this dies I don't want to fill up like the whole place with doors so I'd rather just do two at a time so I'll do this ones and then do the other ones okay let's change this battery I'm going to show you what we are doing with one we're just going to do the same thing we've done to the wall but to the what's this thing called again but to the drawer thing is cabinets yes so I think I want to try see if I can do it from up here uh, so the first thing I want to do is remove the handle which again is just a screw with a screwdriver and just do that. the other one I, we are using gray and it's my hope that this gray doesn't have the same problem we've encountered with this orange because if it does I'm gonna get really pissed off and I'm gonna have to call these people like first thing on Monday because tomorrow is Sunday I don't know if they work on Sunday or send a very nasty text well not like the kind of nasty you're thinking I'm hoping yay the one thing I, I, I didn't want to have to do was trim the edges so it's just gonna be the same thing we did over here yeah it looks like this one's okay so I guess this one wasn't caught up in the ring so just stretch it out oh this one is torn over here you can just put a bit beyond it so we'll just measure and go a bit overboard because we want it to fold over and then just stretch it as well on this side because we want it to fold over and then I'll cut it so yeah this one's okay so I've noticed the best way to do this cutting thing is to flip it over and use this numbers because then it gives me a straight line well something close to a straight line oh this one is so much better this is what the other one was supposed to be well this is what they were both supposed to be remove this and I think I want to flip this thing over so start, starting with this one I think I'll turn this like this that way that we start like from here because the problem with this thing is how it folds back and see because I don't want to start from the top oh, no. so I'm gonna start like somewhere here so let's bring this over and pull like that probably like somewhere there so doing that just that one part I'll stretch this out I'll put something on this and just roll it down actually let's just use the other bit of this roll I'll have it sit like that so I have that over there because now we have this the thing is, I have to, oh, because I still have to, oh, crap. I still need this to go back that way. So I'll just start like there, like that. And then I'll just pull and spread it with my hands. I've noticed this works really well. And then coming back with the thingy, the thing I'm doing, the squidgy thingy after that plastic thing. So 
So there's a bit of air here, just push it out. So you won't be able to see the pattern. And I, I don't think I'm interested in having it show the thingy. I don't mind them just being straight because then the pattern, like the place inside, it has a bit of woody stuff. Like it doesn't have this smooth finish like the ones that we have on top. So the thing will probably just pop back. So I'd rather not entertain the idea. So just do this. Again, come when you get an air bubble, just push it out. And then I'll just turn it around like that. Okay, there's that part that was folded, but other than that, everything is cool. Then I'll flip this over. Heavy, heavy. I'm gonna flip it over because that's how this is like nice and good and ready. And then it's time to fold it over. So the most important bits are the top for me at least and the sides. So I'll fold the top and the bottom first and then just again this is that part that it's like it's not very smooth it's smooth it's a smooth surface but not this kind of smooth then we'll fold the bottom and then just I'm using just my hands then you go back with that thing after so there's this part where this has to go in so first let's just we because we want you don't want the edges the ones that are going to be here to to look so obvious you get me so I'm just going to cut this over here and then fold this in like that. So it gives us a nice clean private hole edge. So we'll do the same on this side and I'm cutting it from the top like this top part. Uh -oh. Okay, it's okay. That's not a big deal. We don't really need it because we have to clean this place anyway. So fold this over. See, this is even like a lot more than I needed. Just cut that there so that this will form that clean edge. And then just push this down like that. We'll do this over here. Let's just cut this. So it's like wrapping a gift, not that I do a lot of that anyway. So here I'll just I just push the lily in, that's all. Like I'll be like, what did you do there? I just push this inside and that's it. And then I'm just cutting around the hole because then once I put the this thing back in, it's just gonna sit inside and it's gonna push on this, so it should be fine. Okay, and then find this one, same thing. Again, this is why I needed to carry that knife thing because this doesn't work the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. Because remember, the important part here is this edge. So the inside isn't like... don't want it to look bad, but it's not like as important. Because <laughs> also, who sees the inside? You only see it for like two seconds when you open. And then that's it. That's it, like for real. So I'll just cut that off as well. Uh -oh. And then just fold this over as well. Remember here we're supposed to put back the, the handle. So so technically we've got a gift, that's what we did. Okay. That's what this project was about. How to wrap oh my god, this is dope. 
This looks exquisite, especially against that orange. I love it. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process. I'm also gonna do the same over here. I'm gonna do this bow and the one on top like from the bottom and the on, and the inside. That way this entire part is gonna be gray. Gray! Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd really like to know your thoughts what did you think of the simple transformations the small things that we did to change her space and if you have any ideas is this something that you think you can do for you uh, because we needed to make sure that this space was very renter friendly so if you know who rachel is please leave it in the comment section if you know like i want to see i want to see your youtube knowledge okay so she's a food youtuber has over fifty thousand subscribers she's kenyan and she makes simple meals that's all i'll tell you so i want you i want to hear your guesses down in the comment section i'll leave the first comment come and tell me your guesses and then you'll see if you can guess who it is whose kitchen we are renovating and of course if you watch our videos you definitely know the kitchen because that's where she films her cooking videos okay so i'd like to know what you think of this video and i hope you'll be back next week when we do our full reveal of the kitchen with all the diys and the final product the kitchen that you'll be seeing on her cooking videos moving forward thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to give this one a thumbs up because you know what that does you're telling youtube that you like your girl over here and then youtube's gonna be like oh that's lovely here's another video she has and another one that i think you might like other than that like just have yourself a lovely week have an awesome time i'll see you back here on tuesday and then we can finish this video thank you so much for spending your time with me as always i love you enjoy yourself and bye bye okay i kid ginger ginger is like so disrespectful he's just like taking a bath in front of everyone ginger Ginger, we have guests here. Maybe that has become his spot since we made this. So 